Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out the Phoenix Pro PTU wireless microphone series. In this one, I'm covering specifically the PTU 7000. This has four wireless microphones and only one receiver that takes up only one U of rack space. This is an extremely affordable system. They have different configurations, some for handheld, some for lavalier mics or headset mics. They have it with two microphones, four microphones, or even eight microphones as well. So in this one, I'm going to be covering the four microphone system, but I will cover some of the different configurations and go over those as well. But right off the bat, I'm just going to get this out of the way. This is an awesome system. And especially at this price point, you really can't beat this. So just as a comparison, the last video that I did last week was on the Shure ULXD system as a quad receiver with four SM58 microphones. That's going to run you approximately $8,000. This system runs you only $290 as of the time of shooting this video. So I've actually been using this recently. I'm a full-time musician. I actually took it to multiple gigs. I'm really impressed with the system, especially at this price point. It's pretty unbelievable. So if you want a spoiler alert on this video, this system is great. Links will be in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out, including a discount link for 5% off. But if you want more details on it, I'm going to cover setup configurations, the differences between them. There's the PTU 5000, 6000, 7000, so on and so forth. I'm going to go over some of the specs, do a range test. I'm even doing a tone test and we'll see if this is right for you. So before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, finding cheap gear for musicians that work really well, wireless, in-ear monitors, MIDI programming, guitar programming, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell while you're there. If you can hit the like button, it does a lot to help the YouTube algorithm, so I would appreciate it. All right, let's get started. All right, so the setup is insanely simple with this. There's only a few things you need to know about the system, which makes it super easy to use. So on the back, you just screw in the antennas and you get four of them. And there is an optional rack mount kit as well, which I'll cover here in a little bit. Plug in the power, push the power button, and it's up and ready to go. Nice and simple. It's about as basic as it gets. So in the back here, you see you have each of your outputs. Again, I'm using the four channel system. So you have output one, two, three, and four. So you just plug in an XLR and send that to wherever you're trying to send the signal. So front of house or your in-ear monitors or wherever you're trying to send the signal. Nice and simple. You get individual sends from each of the XLR ports. And if you would like, you have a mix out quarter inch right here, if you'd like. And it does include this cable right here, which is a quarter inch cable. And they included an uh, eighth inch adapter in case if you needed that, which is really nice. So in the front, it's about as basic as it gets. You have your four different channels right here. So you can see what frequency they're transmitting on. So this one is on group two, channel eight, group seven, channel nine. Or you can see that it's on 546.400 megahertz. And this one's on... 566.200 megahertz and so on and so forth. You do get your volume control over all four different channels. In my experience with using them, they are pretty hot actually. So I had to turn them down a little bit. I definitely did not need them to be very high. I'm gonna turn the light off so that you can see this next part. So you can either manually set the channel by pushing the up button and then scroll through. So you can see I'm going through group three, one, group three, two, group three, three, so on and so forth like that. So if you want to manually set it, you can do that there and then push the set button and it's ready. Or the best part is you can hold set and it scans for the best channel and it found group two channel nine as the clearest channel right now. That is awesome that this system includes a scan feature. At this price point, you're not going to find systems that have a scan feature. That's one of the best things about this system. And you can do that on any of the systems as well. So I can manually set the channel if I would like or I can hold set, it scans for the best channel, and it found the best channel. So as far as the microphone, again, I'm doing this with the handhelds. So it runs off of two AA batteries, which they include all eight batteries, which is really nice. I hate it when companies don't include batteries. I don't know why they don't do that. It drives me crazy. But you screw it on, it's very basic. Hold on the power button, and it's on, you can see what channel you're on. Group two, channel eight, you can see where the battery's at, which I've been using this one, so it's a little bit low, but it was full. And then you have a quick mute option. When it's on, you push the button, see that little mute symbol that shows up, push it again, and it's unmuted. In order to sync these, it's super easy. So say I wanna sync this to channel one, I hit the set button. You can see it's doing this F right there. So what you do is you, there's an infrared port right there. You put that right in front of this one and they will sync up. So you can see that this one is currently on group two, channel eight. So now I hit set, put them right next to each other. And you can see now it's set to group two, channel nine, 
and you can see that it is getting a signal right now. So when I talk into it, you can see that it's getting signal. Check, check, one, two, and I can change the volume here. Test, test, there you can see that it's getting a signal when it gets that right there. And you can do that with all four of the channels. And then one more thing that they include in here is these. There's four of them of different colors. I thought this was kind of like, you know, you put it on here and then you, you know, you color code the microphone so you know whose is whose. I don't know if you would really want to do this kind of goofy looking for that, but what's really nice about it is it's just a spot to hold your mics. So when you sit them down, it doesn't roll because if you leave it like this, it's easy for the mic. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what's going on. It's easy for the mic to roll like this but if you put this on it, it's not going anywhere. So it's really nice that they included that. All right, so going over some of the specs. So there's a lot of them. I'm gonna go over the most important ones. So the frequency range of this one is from 530 to on just under 600 megahertz. And again, that is going to depend on the local regulations, but that's awesome that this system, most of the cheap systems are in 2.4 gigahertz. And if you've seen any of my other videos, 2.4 gigahertz can cause so many problems. My favorite frequencies to transmit on are in the 500 range. So like 470 to 600 megahertz is definitely the best system to transmit in in my experience that is awesome that this system is in there which is great so the frequency response is from 50 hertz all the way up to 18 kilohertz that's perfect you're not going to anything need anything below that or above that especially for a handheld microphone the range is 100 meters or 328 feet the range is great i will talk about that later in the experience part but i can confirm that the range of the system is amazing and it actually went further than some of my super expensive gear that i have runs off of two double a batteries the battery life is at least eight hours and I can confirm that I did use rechargeables and it lasted more than five hours for my four and a half hour gig that I did. So looking in the manual, there's a couple more things that I wanted to go over. So if you haven't watched my video on what to look for in a wireless system, I would watch that because that covers, you know, a lot more detail of what you should look for in specs. I'll post a card up in the upper right as well as a link in the description. But one of the things you want to look for is how many wireless can you use at once? So just because, you know, this goes from 530 megahertz up to a basically 600 megahertz does not mean you can run 60 wireless all at once. That's that's not how it works. And it also depends on the wireless environment. So watch that video if you want to find out more info. But on this one in the manual, you can see you can use multiple receivers at the same time and set all transmitters to different channels. Theoretically, up to 50 receivers, 200 channels can be used at the same time. That's theoretically that is never going to happen. And I'm glad they mentioned this part. So Phoenix Pro recommends no more than 10 receivers, 100 channels be used together. That is a lot. I highly doubt you're going to be able to use a hundred channels all at once that that you know I, there's no way I would really be able to test that but it's pretty awesome that you can use so many of these wireless all at once okay so there's all sorts of different configurations that you can get so just looking on you know the Phoenix Pro website and again there is a link in the description down below uh, Phoenix Pro has been generous enough to have me sign up for their affiliate program and again I would not have done that if I didn't really love what this company was doing and I've done videos on their in-ear monitor system and their guitar wireless as well and my band uses them as well but using the link in the description down below and then using code scott you will music does get you five percent off your purchase so so it helps out the channel and gives you a discount so it's a win-win for both of us but anyway looking on the website so you can see they have all sorts of different configurations so under products wireless microphone system you have all sorts of different configurations one of the first ones that come up is the ptu 7000 which is what i have so you can see that it comes with either you know like you can get it with four handheld microphones or two handheld microphones and two body packs with a lavalier and a headset mic, or you can get it with four body packs and so on and so forth. And you can see the price is just unbelievable, like under $300 for, for four wireless mics. Again, that the sure one, if you get that one, is $8,000. So that shows you just how insane of a deal this is. Not, you know, obviously sure has more features and stuff like that, but, but it's still, this is an insanely good deal. But if you scroll down, you'll see that there's the PTU 5000. It looks almost the exact same in the same different configurations. The difference is, is that the 5000s have a fixed frequency design, which means that you cannot change the channel. Each channel is set to a fixed frequency and you cannot change that. In my opinion, it's up to you and your budget, of course. If you have the ability to scan, you are you should absolutely do that. So going from like the PTU 5000 to the PTU 7000, that's only about a $90 difference. So it's $200 or $209 to get the scanning. That is 1000% worth it. Absolutely, absolutely worth it. Again, it depends on your budget for sure. 
monitor, but you're never going to complain about being able to scan because if you show up to a show and that channel is taken for whatever reason or it's giving you interference, you do not have a way to change it if you're on a fixed frequency wireless system. Keep that in mind. Um, also, just to keep in mind, they do have the PTU 6000A, which has eight microphones with it, which is insane. So yeah, you get eight microphones, eight wireless microphones, all with separate outputs, all in one unit of rack space. That's that's such an insane deal. And so that one's only about at the time of this recording is $520. It's unbelievable. But then you can you do scroll down and you can get the same system. So the PTU like 71, which has two wireless microphones, and that one's only going to cost you about $140, which is again, an insane deal for two wireless microphones. So those are the main differences between the PTU series. There is a rack mount kit that you can get. So this is not included in the system, just FYI. It's not very expensive anyways. I actually bought it after I got the system and really ended up liking it, but it's pretty simple. So as you can see, you know, it comes with the cables and a way to get the antennas to the front so that you can put them in a rack mount. So you can put it in a rack case. So it makes it a lot easier to carry. And then basically you just open it up and plug it in. You're ready to go. So you don't have to attach and reattach the antennas. So if you do plan to use this portably like I do, this is definitely a no-brainer to get it in a rack mount kit. And that link is on the website as well. Okay, so now for range tests. So I'm just going to walk around my house and see how far this thing goes. Super messy room right now because that's the way it goes. I'm shooting video. Check one, two. Mic check one, two. Hey, hey. Mic check one, two. Check one, two. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Microphone check one, two. Microphone check one, two. I'm in the opposite side of the room, opposite side of the house, as far away as I can get. Check one, two. Mic check one, two. Step outside for a second. Confuse my neighbors why I have a GoPro strapped to my head outside. One, two, chick, chick, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Test, test, one, two. Heading back down. Petting the puppy. Good girl, Zoe. Good girl. Say hi to YouTube. Good girl. And we're back. So you can see that this thing works really well. The first day that I tested this, I took it to a show. I put in my thousand dollar in ear monitor system and I, you know, tested it and I walked around the building, but I went through like, you know, a brick, so many walls, my ears cut out, but the microphone never cut out. So this, so I had my drummer listening and seeing to test the range. He said it never cut out as I was talking into it. So this thing out did a better range than my thousand dollar wireless in ear monitor system. So the range on this thing works great. Okay, so for a tone test. Now, I hate doing tone tests. I hate doing A-B comparisons. To me, the best idea is, does it sound good? If so, use it. So you did, so you heard how it sounded in the range test, but here's how it sounds compared to the SM58, which is just the standard Shure microphone system. So I'm going to give you four samples. Two of them will be the PTU and two of them will be the standard Shure SM58, which is what this one kind of, you know, looks like and is going for. So here are the samples. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Test, test, hey, one, two. Hey, microphone check, one, two. Mic test, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Hey, hey, microphone check, one, two. Test, test, mic check, one, two. Okay, so everyone is different. I will post the answers down in the description of which ones were which. However, if you heard all four of those and you're like, oh, that sounds pretty good. If they all sounded good or usable, you don't even need to check it. All of them work well. If you really did hear a massive difference because everyone's ear is different, check the description down below and see if you got them right. You know, maybe you actually liked the sound of the PTU better. Again, to me, it sounds completely fine and completely usable. So I highly recommend this system for sure. So overall, I think this system is unbelievable unbelievably good. The only real drawbacks I see with it, there's there's a little bit more noise handling with it when you handle the mic, but even then it's just, it's not super noticeable. But uh, I mean, other than that, I really haven't seen any real drawbacks with this one. I thought that the mics would feel cheap. They, they don't really. I mean, it feels nice and heavy. It feels like it could withstand drops and stuff like that. I'm not really going to test that because I don't like doing that with any of my microphones. But I mean, this is an insane deal for this microphone system. I think it's totally usable. Like I said, I'm a full-time musician. 
this is what I do. I thought this would be kind of like, you know, a, a karaoke microphone system. And it wouldn't, I mean, it would work. You'd have a nice karaoke system for sure. But I plan to use this for, you know, when I'm a wedding DJ. And, you know, I do a bunch of pretty high-end corporate events too. I plan to use it there. Keep in mind, this is a mid-tier system. You know, it gives you your basics of scan, sync, and volume control and stuff like that. You don't get anything extra if you really need that type of stuff. But most of you will not need that. So I think this is a fantastic wireless microphone system. I'm, I'm really blown away with what they're doing. So definitely highly recommend this system. So that's basically it. So again, there is a link in the description down below. If you do use that link, it is an affiliate link. So it is a free way to support the channel. And then using that link and buying on their website, if you use promo code Scott Ewell Music, you get 5% off. So you get an even bigger discount on an already insanely priced wireless system. So it helps the both of us out. It's definitely a no brainer. So I would definitely appreciate that. And I have ordered stuff from their website. They're very fast with their shipping. They basically, they've always gotten it out like the next day whenever I've ordered from them. So I highly recommend using their website if you can, not just because it helps out my channel too, but I would appreciate it. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, if you do me a favor, just hit the like button. Hitting the like button does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm. So I'd really appreciate it. It just takes a second. Don't forget to check out my other Phoenix Pro videos that I've done. I've reviewed quite a bit of their products. Like I said, I've, I'm really impressed what they're doing at the price points that they're doing it at. So I've covered two of their in-ear monitor systems. I've covered wireless guitar systems. I plan to do another one on another guitar system coming up. So be sure to check the links in order to watch those videos as well. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Scott Ewell Music. Check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen right now. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.